Extremely Wicked is about how, how one becomes a victim to a psychopath, how one is able to live with somebody and understand uh, that they have an, two sides and, and be deceived by, uh, by somebody. That wasn't an elevator pitch, was it? That was no, that was pretty good, though. <laughs> no, no. I would probably stop on a different floor to like, hear it a lot. <laughs> I'd if you were in an elevator and somebody started talking about sociopaths and killers, it'd be very weird. Yeah, yeah. I'd actually probably press emergency. <laughs> but, you know. but that's how the movie is. So. Bundy was somebody who was guilty of the most heinous crimes, and everyone believed he was innocent and gave him a pass for a, for a very long time. And I thought that was an interesting way in to understand how we become victims to that kind of pathology. I, I think this is a story that all people can relate to because you're looking at it through the psychological point of view. You're looking at it from, oh, this is my friend, and all of a sudden they're arrested for driving a car, and then they're accused of doing some horrible things that you can't believe, and you realize that we sometimes can't see the truth when it's in front of us. And it's really exploring why we can't. It's this denial. And that's what was very attractive to me about this film. The script was not what I expected. I was very uh, pleasantly surprised and intrigued. There was something personal in the story for me. I felt like we all live amongst crazy people and we have different people we meet in our lives. And some people you really grow to trust and sometimes they're not exactly who they turned out to be. And, um, this is a really very interesting story, a very interesting perspective from the person who is probably closest to one of the most notorious serial killers of all time. For me, um, reading this script and seeing that it was really about a woman who is still alive, I had the pleasure um, with Joe of um, traveling to meet the, the woman that I play and her daughter and um, reading this script and really seeing that it was giving a voice to somebody that was silenced for so long in, um, in her fear of coming forward and her fear of her story was, was really powerful. And um, to especially be telling it in a time like right now um, with you know, women sharing their stories about their experiences felt really important. I was struck by something that the judge said, the judge who actually, uh, whose statement when he sentenced uh, Bundy to death. At the end, after he calls his crimes extremely wicked, shockingly evil and vile, he says, uh, take care of yourself, son. Like, I really wish that you could have taken another path and practice law in front of me and all that. And there's this creepy chumminess that Bundy encountered with a lot of people throughout his life. And he was smart enough to know how to exploit the greased uh, rails that you know white men have in this uh, society. So he might be in the ground, but those conditions that uh, made someone like him possible still exist. Well, congrats and thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. <laughs>